Meanwhile, the Quebec government this week acted to stem the surge of migrants entering into the province from the United States via an irregular border crossing. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a de si compliqué que ça pour le gouvernement américain de dire la même entente? Premier François Legault has written to New York Mayor Eric Adams urging him to stop helping asylum seekers make their way to Roxham Road by paying for the bus fare to get them to a nearby city. Legault also met with U.S. Ambassador to Canada to seek a change to the safe third country agreement. Under current rules, people turning up at that border crossing cannot be turned away. The small city of Plattsburgh in upstate New York is currently acting as a funnel for those migrants who are seeking to get to Roxham Road. Its mayor spoke to Rosemary Barton Live about the issue, along with his counterpart from Cornwall, Ontario, where some of those entering into Canada are now receiving assistance. We've raised these concerns with the governor. Uh, governor Hochul has been very responsive to understanding the problem. Um, and I will say also, oftentimes we, when we do um, have some of these asylum seekers uh, make their way into the city, or we have some types of uh, not-for-profits, not-for-profit agencies that have some interactions with with asylum seekers, oftentimes we find that they have the appropriate paperwork to stay in the states. Uh, what we are seeing is that these folks, they either have community outside uh, in Canada somewhere, they have community um, outside of the states uh, that they want to make their way. And I think maybe oftentimes it's the political environment and the perception that uh, uh, some U.S. citizens have regarding asylum seekers and migrants uh, coming into the community. But I would say that um, if, you know, if, if uh, these asylum seekers or migrants were looking for work and they had the appropriate paperwork, um, they could go anywhere in the, in the U.S., uh, but unfortunately, they there there is a perception of you know getting out of the U.S. and getting into Canada um, where maybe it's a, it's a, a, a bit more uh, uh, supportive of their endeavors. That it's had quite a large impact on the community of Cornwall. You know, this week, this Wednesday, we finally got some statistics from IRCC that tell us that since last August, almost 1,400 asylum claimants have come through the city of Cornwall. You know, and that means that some have stayed here and some have moved on, and some may have had unsuccessful applications as well. Currently, we have just under 800 in the city, and uh, that's quite a large number. Just for a comparison, uh, you know, we're a city of under 50,000 people. Ottawa, the greater Ottawa area is over a million, and they have 300 uh, asylum claimants within their community. And uh, we're hearing from Ottawa that they feel tapped out on their resources, and we can say the same for us. The city of Cornwall is always going to be ready to step up to help displaced peoples and to do our very best. However, our resources are limited, and that, that's our main concern right now. So our, uh, we have an estimate now that the total cost of the city of Cornwall that we have so far absorbed is $2.3 million, which is quite substantial for our community. That was Justin Towndale, the mayor of Cornwall, Ontario, and before him, Chris Rosenquist, the mayor of Plattsburgh, New York. Quebec's immigration minister says almost all the asylum seekers who entered Canada through Roxham Road last weekend were sent to other parts of the country. Niagara Falls, Ontario is one of those places, and its mayor says they are feeling the strain. The city has taken in 1,000 asylum seekers since the start of just this year, and despite reserving almost 2,000 hotel rooms in the city, officials say there's still a need for 200 more.